ABC, what's up? Wes here, enjoying my morning coffee, and I thought I'd share with you some new music I've gotten, uh, I bought in the recent uh, weeks. Uh, I thought I'd start off with some new CDs that I've been listening to, and just sort of talk about them. I don't really talk about CDs that much, but I do buy them, and I thought I'd go ahead and share some stuff I've been buying and listening to lately. Um, I'm, I'm, as part of my uh, new thoughts on collecting and whatnot, I'm going to be moving away from buying new releases that I haven't heard yet on vinyl. Um, I think I'm just going to buy, try and buy things on CD to to sort of do that experimentation with, and then if I really love something, then I'll go back and buy it on vinyl. Uh, but. Yeah, I'm going to go back to buying CDs for now, uh, as long as they're easily, well, they're, they're not easily accessible, but just because uh, the only place really to buy them around here is, is Best Buy to buy new releases, and Best Buy has shrunk their CD area to next to nothing, and they hardly get in any new releases. And it's, it's disappointing, but I'll buy what I can for now. Uh, so let's just go ahead and, and talk about some of this stuff. Uh, first thing we got here is, uh, I guess it's called the Lumineers. This was recently released in the past couple months, I think, um, on Dual Tone Records. Lumineers are sort of like a, uh, a folk rock, folk rock, modern folk rock sort of stuff. Uh, like if you like Mumford and Sons, something like that. It's a lot like that. Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty good. It's an enjoyable album. Uh, I think you know this is stuff. Some of this stuff has been used in commercials and whatnot, so it's pretty recognizable music, and uh, it's good stuff. Next thing we got here is uh, the Book of Mormon, uh, Trey Parker and Matt Stone's first uh, Broadway musical. This is the the, the cast recording. Uh, just some 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 fun Broadway, uh, you know stuff. I don't think I'll ever get a chance to actually see this. Um, maybe it'll go on tour at some point and I'll, I'll actually go see it, but I don't know. It, it'll, you know, they're always pretty expensive, so I doubt I'll actually ever get to see this unless it's, unless it's, uh, made into a movie or something. But it's fun to listen to these songs and, uh, you know, they're very, they're very comedic, very entertaining, and it's just a fun, fun little thing to uh, listen to. And then we got two releases from this week, uh, just just released this Tuesday. Uh, the first thing is Animal Collective Centipede Hurts. Um, I I hadn't ever heard anything from Animal Collective before, so I don't really know anything about the band. Um, my I've listened to this a little over two times, two times plus a little extra. And my my initial impression of this is it's very very noisy. This is like what I would call kitchen sink music. I mean, just lots and lots of sound, and it, that's really not my thing. That's kind of a turn off for me when when there's just a lot of noise. Um, and so I I'm not in love with this. There's parts of this where I I enjoy it, but. Um, yeah, I didn't love it. It sounds like maybe I would like more of their older stuff. That it was more uh, stripped down, and um, like I think maybe I'd like that some more. So maybe I'll look into some of their other stuff uh, in the future. But right now, this one's just okay. It's not really not really working for me. And the second new release I bought yesterday is Cat Power's new album, Sun. This one I really really love. This is this is an awesome album. And this is another one where they sort of, where she sort of changed the sound of the group and uh, moved in a direction that I would like, moved towards more of a smoother, stripped down, uh, more ambient sort of sound. And I think uh, that would that was a good move as far as I'm concerned. Uh, very pretty packaging. Uh, I know the vinyl packaging on this is very pretty, also with the gold embossing in different places on the cover. Um, has a really neat poster inside. It's cool. And lyrics on the back. 
So yeah, really cool surprise. Another one I didn't, I haven't really listened to Cat Power before in the past, so uh, this is sort of a, a, a new a new experience for me. But I'm, I'm really loving this. I'm playing this a lot. Played this more than the Animal Collective yesterday. So that's Cat Power Sun. Definitely check that out if you like. Uh, if you tend to like this stuff that I like, um, you might like that. That's one that I might might actually be buying on vinyl. So, moving on, um, I'm still talking about some CDs for a while. I've got some stuff I bought at, at Goodwill and Salvation Army and whatnot recently, and I thought I'd just go ahead and show some CDs I've been buying. So, the first thing we got here is the Beach Boys Pet Sounds. This is a remastered edition from 2008 or 2001. Um, it has the album both in mono and stereo on here and I actually like the stereo mix better. I don't I don't know what it is. I'm just not a fan of mono in general. I just like the way the stereo sounds. It, I think it's I think it sounds better. I don't understand the obsession with mono. But I like the stereo. Next thing we got here is uh, the soundtrack to the movie Dead Presidents. This is volume two. Uh, not as good. Volume one of this soundtrack is is really great some really classic soul music. This one this one has some good stuff on it, but it's definitely not as not as good as the uh, the first one. Uh, I saw this movie when it came out. I bought the soundtrack when it came out, but when it's when this came out I didn't buy it just because it, it's not as good, but uh, for a dollar I'll pick that up. So it's pretty cool. Uh, next up the rest of these I haven't had a chance to actually listen to. I'm sort of working my way through here. Uh, we got Regina Spector's Far. This is from 2009. Nirvana's Incesticide. Uh, I, you know, back when I was in high school, when Nirvana was popular, um, I couldn't stand Nirvana at all. I hated them. So, still sort of exploring, and Nirvana's kind of a new thing for me. Uh, I, I do like what I hear. I have I have all the other albums. This is the only one I was missing, so add that to the collection. Uh, next up, we got Sid Barrett with Opal solo solo album. So I thought that was a cool find on CD. Uh, this one I have no idea what it is. It just was it, it was. It was interesting looking, so I went ahead and bought it. This is the Limousines Get Sharp. I don't know anything about this. Could be good, could be bad, but it's worth a dollar to me to find out. Uh, next up, a sealed CD. We got Minus the Bear with Omni. It's going to be interesting. Next up, we get New Order with Substance. Very, very cool. I actually have listened to this. This is this is really good. I mean, it's, it's New Order. It's it's electro synthy '80s stuff. It's you know, it's it's right up my alley. I'm obviously gonna love this. So that's a very cool find. Uh, no doubt, Return of Sa Re Return of Return of Saturn. <laughs> From, I think this is 2000. Yeah, 2000. Probably sort of a bad period for the band, so not something I would buy new, but I'd give it a chance. Uh, the next up is a band that's coming to play here on, on campus in a couple weeks now, I guess about three weeks now. Uh, I'm going to do a live concert for free, uh, which is cool. I'm going to take the day off and go go to it because I work in the evenings, so I can't go to stuff in the evenings normally. But I'll take the day off for a free concert. It's uh, This is of Montreal. And this is titled, The Bedside Drama of a Petite Tragedy. So, I'll get to hear at least some of their music before I go. I hear they've, they've sort of changed changed what they, what they do as far as their sound. Uh, but, could be interesting. I see their albums a lot in the record stores. And I always, I'm always curious as to what it sounds like. Just because I do like the album art on their, on their albums. But... Anyway, another one is a repurchase. I sold this on my Amazon store, and I'll buy it again. It's White Stripes Elephant. We'll pick up. Most people probably have that. Uh, next up, we got uh, 
Yeah, Roger Fripp and, and uh, Brian Eno, No Pussy Footing. On addition to EG. I don't, I don't know anything about this. I mean, I know who I know who Robert Fripp and Brian Eno are, uh, but I don't know uh, what this is going to sound like. It's just two long tracks, a 21-minute track and a 19-minute track. It's called The Heavenly Music Corporation and Swastika Girls. This is from 73. So, that was a cool find. Definitely somewhat obscure. And the last of the CDs here we got here is uh, George My Michael's Listen Without Prejudice. So, those are some of the CDs I picked up recently. Let's go ahead and get into some vinyl, what, what we're all here for. Uh, first couple things are some stuff I found at the, uh, the hospice thrift store this past weekend. Uh, another one of these Deutsch gramophones. I pick them up when, I, when they're interesting to me. This is uh, Strauss's Don Quixote. I actually played the first side of this already. It sounds good. Yeah, these Deutsche gramophones are always, always good recordings, and very nice to have that. Pick that up for fifty cents. And then we have the London cast recording of Cats. I knew I had Cats, but I was pretty certain that it was the Broadway cast recording, which it turned out it is the Broadway one. So I have now I have the Broadway and the London one. Um, most people, and I know a lot of people can't stand the uh, the cats uh, stuff, but I think it's fine. I'm a, I'm a cat lover, and I, I really enjoy these songs, so that was a cool find. Okay, moving on to some Discogs purchases. Uh, first thing we got here is uh, the Two Live Crew, Nasty As They Want to Be. Definitely wanting to pick these up, uh, just out of out of sort of a historical thing. At, at, you know, when the whole legal battle with them going on as far as uh, explicit content and whatnot, I was very I was very young at the time and buying music and into hip hop. So following that cold case and everything and the stuff like that was a big deal. Next up, we have a. This is a French pressing of the Simpsons "Sing the Blues." I got the uh, the seven-inch single to uh, "Deep Deep Trouble" recently, and I said I wanted to get this, get the whole soundtrack, and I had it saved on my wish list on Discogs, and this one popped up for a good price, so I went ahead and bought it. It's a French pressing. Uh, cool stuff. So it's it's cool to have this. This is more of sort of just a collector's piece. I have the CD. But it's fun to have that. Next up, sort of more Two Live Crew related stuff. This is uh, Luke featuring the Two Live Crew. This is banned in the USA. And finishing out my uh, MC Shan collection, we got Play It Again Shan. This one's still sealed. Picked that up on Discogs. Uh, sort of an interesting, interesting album right in there. Right, late 80s, early 90s, sort of right when hip hop was changing a little bit. Yeah, this is 1990, so sort of a different sound for him. Uh, but, but some good songs on here. And next thing we got here is a promo copy of the Two Live Crews Sports Weekend, as nasty as they want to be, part two. Uh, so there's not really anything to see here. It's just double album, black black thing, but it does have the, the sticker on it saying it's a promo for that album, which is very cool. Like I said, I want to try to build up a, a nice Two Live Crew collection on vinyl. And then uh, another one for the uh, MC Hammer collection. You got the, the Funky Headhunter. This is sort of when he went a little bit more harder, did the, the whole pumps in a bump thing and that whole controversy. There's some there's some songs on here I actually like though, so it's cool to have this on vinyl. I didn't even know it was, realize it was released on vinyl. This is from '94. And this is a U.S. pressing. So yeah, that's uh, some of my some of my recent purchases, both CD and vinyl. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you all are having a great week. I know I'm doing doing pretty good. It's a nice uh, short four-day week, and I'm 
we're already almost to the weekend again, so happy for that. So, thanks for watching. Uh, remember, crate digging is not a crime. Get out there and do some. Cheers.